Hello friends, in today's video demonstration, we are going to use how to use security filtering to apply group policy objects to selected groups. As you already know, group policies can't be applied directly to groups. We can link a group policy at the site, domain or OU level. The policy is applied to either user and or computer's account. For example, when we attach a GPO to particular OU, that GPO will apply on all users and computer accounts stored under that OU. So suppose if you have a policy that you only want to apply to a subset of users or computers or a particular group. So that time what we can do? The answer is very simple. We can use group policy security filtering. We can use security filtering on a GPO to modify its effect to apply only to a specific user or security group by modifying the permission on the GPO. So what is security filtering? Security filtering is a way of refining which users and computers will receive and apply the settings in a group policy object. Using security filtering, we can specify that the only certain security principle within a container where the GPO is linked applies to GPO. So for this demonstration, I have a OU name uh, sales theme and under the sales theme OU, I have a two user named Jason Roy and sales one. Also I have a one a group named group one and if you see the members of our group one, sales one is the only member of our group. Now already I created a group policy named uh, sales GPO and attached to our OU sales theme. And under that, I set a policy to prohibit the access to control panel and PC settings. That means that all the users which are stored under our OU are not able to access the control panel. Let's test this. So this is my client computer and on a client computer, I already log in with uh, the user Jason Roy. And if we try to access the uh, control panel on this computer, as you are seeing, the user Jason Roy is not able to access the control panel because the group policy object is applying on all the user accounts which are stored under our OU sales theme. Now what we want? We want to use security filtering to apply the group policy object only to this group name group1. Now let's come back on our group policy management console. In order for a GPO to apply to given user or computers or a group, that user or computer must have both read and apply group policy permission on the GPO. By default, authenticated users have both apply group policy and a read permission which are set to allows. If you see under these settings, if you click on uh, authenticated users, as you can see uh, we have a read allow permission as well as apply group permission and that's set to allow. If you want only a subset of users within an OU to receive a GPO, you have to remove these uh, authenticated users entries from security filtering and instead add a new group with a security filtering permission that contains a subset of users who are to receive the GPO. In our case, already I created a group one and we want to apply these policy only to our group one. So I'm going to remove the authenticated users entry, click on OK and let's add our group name group one, click on check name and click on OK. Now only members of this group that are within the OU where the GPO is linked will receive the GPO. Members of this group in other side, domain or OUs do not receive the GPO. Now let's come back on our uh, Active Directory users and computers and uh, if you see Justin Roy is not a member of our group 1 and this policy is only applying on our group 1. That means the policy preventing access to control panel will not apply on our user Justin Roy. Let's test on our client computer. Right now our user Justin Roy is not able to access the control panel. Now let's manually update the group policy object by running a command gp update slash force. As you are seeing the policy is updated successfully on this computer. Let's close this console and now let's try to open control panel. As you are seeing now our user name Justin Roy is able to access the control panel. Now let's test for our other user. Let's log in with our second user that is sales one. Okay, so already we will be log in with our user sales one and let's try to access the control panel. And as we are seeing the user sales one is not able to access the control panel. So this is the way how we can use group policy security filtering to apply group policy object settings to particular selected group. And that's it for this video demonstration.